Welcome back to our show. It's called Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is known as Radio's Midday Diva. Now she is adding author to her list of credits. Her new book is called Surrounded by Sin, mm. Grounded by Love, mm. Eight Simple Keys to Becoming a Better You. Come on Please now. welcome Tambra Cherie. Yay. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having Yay. me. This is wonderful. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Yes. Yes. I love it. Right? Yes. Yes. Don't you feel good? Yeah, the energy is amazing. Oh, Thank you. Oh, oh, yes. Yes. I love it. I good, love it. Good. Well, of course, we have this in common. Radio. Radio is my yes. first love. Yes. It is my first love. But tell us about your story and how you got into radio, and now you're an author and on Sister Circle. Ooh. Mm. How did I get into radio? Actually, I started in television first. Oh, okay. I literally started in television, and then I interned at a radio station. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like it's it's just from history from there. Because yeah. literally, it went so fast. I absolutely, I have a passion for people, and I love entertainment. Yes. So we you know, and I love music. So it all just, it worked perfect. Mm -hmm. It yes. worked so awesome. Them. It Absolutely. was just great. Yes. So the journey has been wonderful. It went from interning to actually at another station doing entertainment news. And then the station I am now, we had new owners coming into this capital city. And I came to that station doing entertainment news. From entertainment news, literally went to middays. No, like afternoon. Then midday. Yes. So, yes. And I, I love midday. Yes. I love it. I love mid-days it. Midday's is lit. I know, right? Yes. I love it. What do you I like love most it. most about midday's. The timing and the, the, time people. And the people. You know, because literally you're at work, lunch, people are out and about. Mm -hmm. They want that yeah. energy. Yeah. So they're looking yeah. for it. So I just love midday's. I really do. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. I sucked at it, but you know, you know what? I, I bet you didn't. That is wonderful. Are you uh, kidding no. me? I was a morning girl no. who was on an ensemble cast, and then they, you know, I got, you know, got let go. Ricky Smiley came in. They moved me to middays. It wasn't a good thing. No. But I'm glad you didn't do that. No. Thank you, baby. You got to know your you. strengths and weaknesses. Yes, that you wasn't do. Good. It's you all not, good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that morning, that would that would really be like, oh wow, yeah. it's just so early, yeah. and they really looking for that energy in the morning. Oh, you got to be like a cup of coffee. Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. yes, yes, absolutely. Yes. Oh wow, so television, radio, now author. So, yes. what made you pen this book, surrounded by sin, holy? Oh, I know, <laughs> right? Surrounded by love and eight simple keys to becoming a better you. So, what inspired you to write this book? Well, literally, I will be so honest with you. Thanks. I do feel like as radio personalities, you have a voice. Mm -hmm. You have to be more than a voice on the radio. I feel That's like true. we're supposed to be more, doing more than mm -hmm. saying, hey guys, here's new music from Future. Right. I <laughs> think we're supposed to do more than that. I'm sorry. I think you have a voice for a reason. Yep. You are there to motivate, inspire, encourage. You mm -hmm. have this voice use it mm -hmm. and I think that's why and it's part of your purpose it's part of your purpose so I really believe for me I believe it was my assignment yeah. because I ignored it at first yeah I would be so oh yes let me tell you something when God gives you an assignment and you ignore it mm. do you know your life just gets all out of whack disarray, you're like what is yeah, going yeah. on why is this happening <laughs> what's going on I was ignoring wow. my assignment wow. so literally when I sat down and I began to write this book this was my assignment. Like, this is what I told you to do. Mm -hmm. Stuff started falling right back into place. I tell people all the time, we feel like, you know, we're waiting on God, we're waiting on God. No, God is waiting on you. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting on you to get it together. Yeah. So absolutely, for me, it was my God-given assignment yes. to help other people. Right. We're a servant. That's yes. what I'm here for, to help other people. That's what I'm talking about. So Tamara, about. you said there are eight keys. Give us a few of them. And then what's the most important, do you think, that are amongst the eight? You know what, I would say, Stop giving your power away. Mm. Mm. That's the most important. I would stop and learn to control your emotions. Mm -hmm. That's a big one. That's do you a, know what? If you learn to control your one. emotions, do you know how much power and control you have? That's a really Just good by one. controlling your emotions, mm -hmm. you have a lot of power and you're not giving your power away. Yeah. And I feel as women, we're compassionate. Mm -hmm. We passionate. love people. We yeah. want to we want to work on everybody and change <laughs> everybody. But you, we you have to know everybody change. is not your assignment. <laughs> yes. Once you learn who's your assignment, every Everything is not your assignment, yeah, so that's, that's a big true. one. Yeah. And you stay in power. Mm -hmm. yeah. You stay in control. Yeah. So, so I think that that's a big one. Control your emotions. Mm -hmm. Control your emotions. Not allowing you, yourself to give your power away. Those Absolutely. are Absolutely. Control you your have, power. And what are the others? You, have you know eight. what? A big one, I think, would be whatever you entertain, you give life to. Mm -hmm. Watch the things and the people that's that good. you entertain. Oh, that's you give good. life to that. That's real good. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. You give life. Whatever you pay mm -hmm. attention to, you're bringing life to the situation. Yes. You don't need to control everything and bring life to everything. Yeah. Everything doesn't need a response. Yes. And as women, we need to, but everything does not have to have a response. You're right. And I talk with my hands, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. I talk with my yeah, hands. Okay. Right. 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 Tell us about <laughs> selfie. <-bearing. laughs> I talk with my hands, so shy. <laughs> Yes. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Yes. I love it. Actually, okay, so self 
self-love. Yes. We hear self-love so much. Yes, yes, before you can get to self-love, you have to get to self-evaluation. Mm -hmm. What is the problem? You have to evaluate yourself. And in the book, it has space where you can do all of that. You can literally write down and say, let's look at me first. Mm -hmm. Let me look at me first. Mm -hmm. Before I start, and then you come love. Mm -hmm. Then you come loving on yourself because you know that. who you're loving. You can't love yourself if you don't know who you're loving. That is true. Absolutely. So start self-evaluation and then love on yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, in your book, you have a million-dollar story. Ooh. A literal million-dollar story. <laughs> a certain professional athlete, who mm -hmm. I guess will remain nameless, Clearly. Yes, of offered course. you a million dollars, <laughs> and you said no, but a lot of women would have said yes to. A million dollars so to do what? So what was it, oh and do you God. regret saying no? Okay, so literally, but this you can tell was, us who it was if you feel led to. If I feel led to, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, one thing is because I respect his privacy. Yes, because yeah. I did tell him that I was like, you know what? I'm going to put this in the book just because it's a part of my journey. It's a part of that. So I want to put this in the book, and I'm like, well, I'm not going to say your name. No. He's like, good, because I'm not writing a book. You mm -hmm. know, he's like, that's that's your story. You know, and I so it's it's not about you because if I put your name, it becomes about you because you have a big name and a brand. Mm -hmm. So it becomes about you, and it's not. It's a part of my journey. Well, what's the story, boo? The story is literally, <laughs> we were already friends. He knew me and all of that. He didn't have kids, so he wanted a child. Oh. And he knew I came from a very good family. He's like, you know what? You'll make a great mom. Mm -hmm. And he's like, you know, we'll, we'll meet. And we literally met at a restaurant. And it was presented to me literally <laughs> as like a business deal. He was like, you know what, we'll do the million, you know, have your lawyer look over the contracts. He was like, you know, this the private school. So he laid it out, honey. It was like a million plus like, child support and stuff? It was, a, oh, it was <laughs> private schools, house, everything, everything. Like, literally, I kid you no, listen, not. In vitro fertilization still works. <laughs> I kid you not. <laughs> well, if you want to know more about this oh, God, and more no, yes. of these eight simple steps, please make sure you follow please. Tambra on her Instagram at Tambra Sheree. <laughs> Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me, guys.